What's up, guys? This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal, back again to talk invariably about Invar. Hmm. See what I did there? So thanks for watching, and please consider subscribing. Click that little button if you haven't already. Appreciate it. If you like the content, smash that like button. Come on. I know you can do it. Help support the channel. It would be appreciated. Today, our video is about one of the iron nickel alloys that exhibit low thermal expansion characteristics as compared to many other metal alloys, most commonly known as INVAR 36 when produced by Carpenter Technologies. Its UNS designation is K93601. Free cutting INVAR has designations of K93050 and one more we'll get to later. The rate of thermal expansion is roughly one-tenth that of carbon steels at temperatures up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Metals typically expand with rising temperature and conversely shrink with decreasing temperatures. The rate at which this occurs is called the CTE, coefficient of thermal expansion. It typically varies with temperature in a non-linear manner. To make things easier to use, metallurgists give us the mean CTE for a specific range of temperature. What? With this information, we can either compare materials or we can calculate the change in dimension that would occur with a specific change of temperature. Very useful stuff. As an example, Invar 36 has the following mean CTE. Room temperature to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 0.720 micro inch per inch per degree Fahrenheit. Room temperature to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, 1.170 micro inch per inch per degree Fahrenheit. In other words, a 10 inch length of Invar 36 heated from 70 degrees Fahrenheit to 200 degrees Fahrenheit would increase in length 0 0.720 CTE times 130 equals an increase of only one point increase of point, just point, not one point. It equals an increase of point. Ready? Point zero 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 nine four, just under a thousandth of an inch. For those of you doing the math at home, a micro inch is a millionth of an inch. 10 to the minus six in scientific notation. Little, itty, bitty, little. Applications are typically for parts that require dimensional stability over a range of temperatures. They can also be used along with a high expansion alloy to create motion for bimetallic thermostats and other temperature regulators. So now let's just do a little chemistry. Now we're talking nominal chemistry today, guys. All right. We're going to talk about a couple different things in a few UNS codes, and it's nominal. We're talking about INVAR 36 UNS code K93601, UNS code K93603. Now, for the free cutting in VAR 36, they carry UNS codes of K93602 and K93050. Little asterisks, we'll get to that at the end. Now, carbon, 0.02% max. Silicon, 0.20%. Manganese, 0.35%. Nickel, 36%. And the balance, da 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 da, iron. So, the last little thing you saw there was the free cutting in VAR does add point. 20% selenium. Now, is INVAR 36 magnetic? Good question. Yes, INVAR 36 is magnetic. The Curie temperature is 535 degrees Fahrenheit. The density is 0.291 pounds per cubic inch. The typical mechanical properties in the annealed condition carry a tensile strength of 40,000 psi, a yield strength of 65,000 psi, with a 35% elongation, and a hardness of 70 Rockwell B. We got two specs today. Easy peasy, right? ASTM B753, ASTM F1684. So if you've seen any of these videos, you'll know that we've just gotten to the point in time where, from my perspective to yours, we've told you many, 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 many times before. Specs, prints, parts, specifications, requirements can add to or alter the information that we have presented to you today. So for the 63rd time, check the specs, right? 
So this is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. Missional Metals is a distributor and a supplier of Invar 36. And if you have any more questions on Invar 36, please refer to our website, missionalmetals.com. Appreciate it. And if you made it this far, haven't subscribed, think about it right here. Hit that little button. Appreciate the support. If you missed our previous video, there it is. All right? It's right there. Thanks for watching. This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. I will see you guys next Thursday, 10 a.m. I'm out.